This video describes assisted support structure creation, now available in Esprit Additive Powder Bed Fusion. First, select a region to support. You can create regions manually or set parameters to automatically detect them. On the PBF ribbon tab, click the Assisted Support button. Several settings will assist you in creating support structures. Select a path type along which to create the support. Choose from Up to Next Bodies, Z Height, or length. If we choose up to next body, the support structure goes up to the build plate as it is the next body. Z height creates the support up to a given Z value. If you know the support length in advance, you can use that value. Next, apply strategies to define the contour and hatching parameters for the support structure. In the contour group, set the expected number of contours that will be offset inside. The offset value is driven by the other offset parameter. Use the first offset field to independently manage the first offset. Note that here, Esprit has created two offset contours for the inner and outer contours of the region to support. Under Hatching Parameters, check Direction 1 and 2, and then specify the angle and spacing for each hatching direction. Notice that Esprit creates a single contour with inner hatching spaced by 1mm and rotated by the specified angle along each direction. You can also define hatching without a contour. To do this, set the number of contours to 0. Fragmentation will help to remove support after the build process. On the Fragmentation tab, check Enable Fragmentation. Enter values for fragmentation length and spacing. You can choose to fragment along the profile or along the axis. Let's choose along the profile first. Fragmentation takes place following the circular contour. Now select the region to support and choose to apply a hatching filling strategy. For this strategy, fragmentation along axis will fit best. Fragmentation aims to create groups of support for easy removal. Notice here that we still have a large chunk of hatches. Let's edit the support to refine the settings. Right-click on Support in the Esprit Additive Feature Tree and click Edit. Change settings and validate again. Assisted Support also offers perforation settings to help with powder removal. Select the Perforation tab and check Enable Perforation. Specify the height and width of perforations as well as spaces between diamond holes. Esprit generates parametric support structures following the given parameters. Last but not least are the teeth parameter sets. Here you can configure the height and spacing between teeth as well as contact length. You can also manage tooth penetration for upper and lower teeth. To help increase efficiency, you can save assisted support parameters as presets for later reuse. Let's define a set of assisted support parameters including path, strategies, fragmentation, perforation, and teeth. Go back to the general tab. Check the box to save the support settings and type a descriptive name in the field below. After you click OK, Esprit generates the supports and saves the presets. Select another region to support and click Assisted Support. On the General tab, select a preset to apply settings. This loads all preset values into the appropriate fields. This also allows quick editing. Since we're working on the inner region to support, let's choose Hatching Strategies instead of Contour and then click OK. Support structures are created automatically with the new set of parameters updating from the saved one. Esprit Additive PBF with the new Assisted Support Structure feature is the right choice to automate production in additive manufacturing.